Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video over on Power World. And in this video, I am going to show you how to make cake, which is important for one reason, and that's in order to breed your pals over on Power World. Now, you can see that I've got a whole bunch being made right now, and then you can actually store it over here. And I'll kind of walk you through the whole thing and everything that you need. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So you are going to need access to a cooking pot and inside of the cooking pot, you can actually make a bunch of recipes. However, one of the most important things in the game is cake. Now, cake, you can see it right here. It's a consumable that can actually only uh, it's essential for pals laying eggs when they're at the breeding farm. And then uh, when they eat it, they actually lay an egg per cake that they eat. Now, in order to make it, you're going to need five flour, eight red berries, seven milk, eight eggs and two honey. Now, my suggestion is make as much as you can. And the reason that is, is because when you're making the cake in this game, it takes an incredibly long time. So just to give you a comparison, I have 200% um, ability or crafting speed, if you want to think of it that way. Look how long it's taking. So it's not even worthwhile because per cake, you're going to sit here for like 10 minutes. So what I usually do is I'll set this before I log off at night and then my creatures will go ahead and do that for me. Now, if you're not renting your own server, check out the list below. You get 10% off the server company that I use, G Portal. And uh, that way, the literally, and if you're playing solo player, this takes forever. If you're not playing solo player, you log back on and all this stuff's ready to go. Now, so that's how you make the cake, all right? So what is the cake? So cake is something that you use inside of this game, and I wish I was kidding. Um, but you can see that it's got 656 nutrition to it, so it's going to instantly fill your food bar. It has 82 sand for it, which is really nice. And then it's eaten during celebrations, a.k.a. when an egg is laid inside this game. In order to actually use the cake after getting it over there and having your creature heat it up for you, you'll bring it to the actual breeding area in the breeding farm. You'll place it inside this box and the cool thing is that without putting it inside this box cake has a cooldown timer of 20 minutes and it's very expensive and hard to make so you don't want to lose it if you put it inside of the breeding farm the actual decline of the actual stuff so it doesn't go away it is infinite spoil timer inside of this so that makes a big difference and having that passively in there will allow your creatures to breed inside this game you can also not collect it if you don't have a breeding area available and then it'll just sit inside of this pot, making it uh, unspoilable, which is a very, very valuable thing. If it doesn't spoil it, you save a lot of time. Now, it's also the best food in the game when it comes to eating at 700 uh, food and then that sand bonus of 80 overall. That's a really good thing. It, it definitely helps you out a ton when it comes to this game. Now, it does cost a little bit, so just be aware of the cost of it. And that is what cake is, how to make it, and everything you need to know about it. And you can see this guy's going back and forth and making all kinds of stuff. But, you know, I mean, that's just what they do. That's their job. This guy's going to go around and make a whole bunch. So that explains it. Hopefully this video helps you out. And again, if you don't mind, smack that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel. All right, teach.